हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर इंग्लिश क्लास द टॉपिक इज द रिडल मास्टर जो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक टुडे द रिडल मास्टर ओके बिफोर गोइंग टू टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क सम क्वेश्चंस ओके डू यू नो व्हाट इज रिडल इज रिडल इज ओके ओके गुड रिडल मींस द पजल क्वेश्चन गुड गुड Here are some riddles. Let us try to solve them. Okay? Good. Dear students, go to the first question. Number one, who has eyes but cannot see? Who has eyes but cannot see? Any answer? Okay. The needle. Good. Very good answer. Students, now let us go to the second question. Yes. The fire of Fire down inside a sleepy man. Yes, whose face is black and brown. Guess the question. Anyone? Yes. Good. Mastic. Good answer. Now students, we will go to the question number third. Thank you. Let us go third question. I am kicked right and left. Air is my food. Tell who I am if you are good. Okay. I am kicked right, I am kicked left. Air is my only food. Tell who am I if you are good. Anyone Okay football thank you very good answers okay you answered very well thank you students now let's go another now students you have to go to the text main topic okay let us read now what first paragraph okay Every evening, children sit around Budhu Haram to listen to his stories. Okay, there is no one in the village who can tell stories like Budhu Haram. He can tell you about the thieves and the widow's son, seven brothers and one sister. He can also tell you the story of a wicked jackal. There is no end to his stories. He is also very good. at riddles and his stories are also full of riddles there is no riddle which he cannot solve so everyone calls him the riddle master okay people need him more during marriages the bridegroom's party has to face goat or a pig if they fail to answer the riddle of the bride's party okay If Budhu Haram is with them, the bridegroom's party are safe. Okay, they need not pay the fine. Okay, dear students, now let us go to the paragraph two. Yes, now let us read paragraph two. Budhu Haram's talk is also full of riddles. Okay. During hunting, he will never call a leopard a leopard. If you call a leopard by name, hmm, he says he will know and kill you. So he calls it a wild cat or a harmless bullock. Okay. Similarly, he calls a bee or a hairy caterpillar. It doesn't. want to hurt anyone when he finds someone losing his teeth yes he will say your white stones are falling when someone is dead he says he has gone to hurt the alligator okay okay students now let us discuss about the meanings of some new words okay first word riddle 
What is the riddle? Mistress questions means a question which is puzzle. Okay. Next word Ludo. What means Ludo? Let us see this photo. Ludo. A woman whose husband has a child. Okay. Next bridegroom. This is bridegroom. This is bride. You might have seen in marriage functions. Okay, good. A man on or just before his marriage. Okay. Next caterpillar. A very peculiar insect. Yes, yes, you might have seen. Then turn to butterfly. A small hair insect. Okay. Next. Alligator. What do you mean alligators? Let us see this photo. You have, you have seen also. A type of crocodile. Okay. Good. Then herd. Let's see at herd. What do you mean herd? A large number of animals that live together. It is called herd. Okay. Clear? Meaning of the words? Good. Now, students, let us read in details. Discuss pin by pin. Okay. Number one, first paragraph. Every evening, children sit around Budhuharam to listen to his stories. But every day, every evening, Budhuharam is sitting there and the children around sit around the him to listen the yes story. Yes. There is no one in the village who can tell stories like Budhuharam. That means Budhuharam is the expert in riddles. No one can tell the story like him. He can tell you about the thieves and the widow's son. Is this in the story? First story? Yes. The thieves and the widow's son. And second, seven brothers and one sister. Another story. Seven brothers and one sister. Okay. He can also tell you the story of the wicked jackal. Wicked jackal, naughty jackal. Okay. This is also a story. He tell. There is no end to this story. Man, that means endless story. He gathered lot of story in his mind. So whenever he speak, tell the story, endless story. Okay. He is also very good at riddles and his stories are full of riddles. He is very good at riddles and his story is full of riddles. Whenever he speak story, then that story is made of, made of riddles. There is no riddle which he cannot solve. That means he can solve every, each and every riddles. There is no riddle that he can, cannot solve. Means he can solve each and every riddles. He is the riddle master. So, everyone calls him the Riddle Master. This is the topic, main topic. Okay. Why he considered to be Riddle Master? Well, that means no one riddle that he can solve. He can solve each and every riddles. Okay. That's why he considered to be the Riddle Master. Good. People need him more during marriages. Mostly marriage. The people need him mostly in marriage. Marriage they require. Why? Because the bridegroom's party has to pay a goat or pig if they fail to answer the riddle of the bride's party. Once the bride fails, always asks to the bridegroom party. If they fail, if the bridegroom party fails, then they have to pay penalty for a pig or a goat. If Budhu Haram is with them, yes, the bridegroom's people are same. If Budhu Haram is with them, Bride grooms are said means what? Because he is expert. No need to fear. Because he can solve each and every riddles. They need not to pay the fine. So, the bride groom party has not to pay any fine. Why? Because he can solve. The Buddha Haram can solve. That's why he is considered to be riddle master. Okay. Okay, students. Now, let us discuss about the paragraph 2. Clear? Budhu Haram's talk is also full of riddles. Budhu Haram's talk is also full of riddles. But his talk is full of riddles. Whenever he talks something, then that talk is, must, is full of riddles. During hunting, he will never call a leopard a leopard. 
during the time of hunting he never call a leopard leopard why does not he call leopard leopard if you call a leopard by name he says he will know and kill you if you call a leopard leopard then leopard will know then he will kill you off so he never call leopard leopard what is he call him so he calls it a wild cat a hornet's bull wild cat but that is a another animal just similar to tiger leopard leopard is big size and wild cat is just small size but there is similar figure or hornet's bull bull you know having horn there is but a leopard hornet's bull he call it hornless bullock when the bullock which has no horn similarly he calls a deer a hair caterpillar you see bear you see caterpillar what is the similarity both body has hair hair okay that's why he calls a bear a hair caterpillar okay he does not want to hurt anyone he never wanted to anyone hurt he never wanted to hurt anyone because he was a man of very kind when he finds someone losing his teeth he will say your white stones are falling if you someone no falling his teeth what he, if you call him the falling teeth what he, what does it mean but it means hurt him so that he tell he your white stones are falling instead of falling the white stone are falling your white stone are falling okay when someone is dead when someone is dead he says he has gone to hurt the alligator if someone is dead he never he never called a dead man no what he says he has gone to hurt the alligator to hurt the alligator okay students now students let us discuss about the comprehension questions question number 1 yes what are these paragraphs about anyone yes the riddle master good questions okay let us go to second name two stories that budhu haram usually tells his listeners okay three stories also ah uh, name yes the thieves and yudos son another yes wicked jackal good okay now let us go to the question number 3 if a bridegroom's party have fails to answer a riddle if a bridegroom's party fails to answer a riddle yes what do they pay anyone yes a goat or a pig good answer okay Next, why does Budhu Adam call a leopard? Anyone? Yes, wild cat. Ah, huh? hornless. Good, good. Hornless bullock. Very good answer. Okay, now let us go to the question number five. What does he call a bear? Anyone? Yes, a hairy cat or bear. Good answer. Okay. Already we have answered. Next, what we have learned. today okay we learn the test and comprehend it okay this much is for today thank you 
बाय बाय